on this episode of Grassroots Garage. We're catching up with Mark and his weapon of a KE20 Corolla. Last time Rita stayed off camera, this time we've convinced her to come have a chat. I don't know about you, but that's some good driving. No autos here. Mark, thanks for your time, man. Thank you. Thanks for yours. Mark, tell us about your car. It's a 1971 K20 Corolla. It's running uh, Yeah Bud Simmons. Um, yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Just come down here, Rita. Yeah, bud. <laughs> hey, what wheels are they, Rita? <laughs> <laughs> Got a 4A turbo motor in it, 1.6 litre, um, super gearbox, Hilux diff, like it's just got the, the full sort of thing in it. It's only done chassis connectors and uh, cow tracks in the back, cage, leather interior, and it's working today, so. Yeah, it's what we like. <laughs> it's just, behaving. Just been a Wollongong. Yeah, made it back, no tow truck, so yeah, it's good. When we did the first ep with the Corolla, and I, like, we were at Jamboree, yeah. it was like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's always hot. Windy, day. hot day. And I was down trackside all day. I come up and film with you. And then we did all of your app that afternoon yeah. after a full day of jamboree. And I was shattered. I was so tired. And I met I met you guys and I met Rita and I because I'm like, I've been filming all day and I'm thinking about cars and I'm taking photos and running around. I'm like, oh Rita, you lost your voice, run off, do keep filming. <laughs> and then she's like, look at me going, no man. You were driving me around for like half an hour. I'm like, oh hopefully you get your voice back, and you're like. You look at me, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not registering anything that's going on. I'm just like running around. And then, like a week later, I was chatting to Mark. I'm like, "How's Rita's?" And he goes, uh, "Mate, you, you know she's got like a surgery that's happened on the throat." I'm like, "Oh, fuck. it's not bad then." Classic <laughs> Pete, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we're nipping that in the bud um, straight away. So Rita, um, we're sitting in front of your toy. Tell us about your car. So it's a K25, um, going for the rotary engine inside. Um, yeah, got to be one up, one better than my husband, yeah. so that's the way we're going. You can try, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rita's uh, toy, so the 13B's in there ready to go. Well, sure ready is. to go yeah. is pretty loose phrase. <laughs> it's got that the Weber carb on it, but it's probably going to go EFI. So these, this, um, is it like a custom engine mount or you can buy them? Mate, that engine mount is actually was on John Gretsch's K26. Yeah, um, mate. Which had the 13B in it. Yeah. So you remember his wagon, the yeah. K26 wagon? Yeah. yeah, so now he's got a 1J in it. I was telling him about your 2J Corolla on the way. 1J, yeah. 1J, mate. 1J. 1J, get it right. Yeah. 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 Right. And he had that sitting at home. And uh, yeah, so one day I just said, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> so it runs these. I think they're Mazda mounts, those rubber. Like this part of it? Yep. Um, those two. And they just sort of mount there. and. So that's all, that'll be engineerable as is. Yeah, let's see. He had the same setup in his car, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a Garrett 3076 yep. four bearing turbo, so it's they're pretty old now. I mean, they're old technology now. Back, you know, ten years ago, it was like pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it still does the job. I mean, yeah, wouldn't mind one of those G series turbos, you know, those little ones, those oh, new ones. Yeah, yeah, that thing would get a G25 on this engine would probably go pretty good. Yeah. But um, yeah, so nah, it's got uh, yeah turbo 1.6 liter, you know. As uh, yeah. as we've spoken about before, made the little engine. It's got Kelford cams in it now. Um, yeah, this is a, the throttle we're talking about. Oh, the um, but, um, yeah, the yeah, shaftless yeah, throttle. That's cool, man. Yeah, so it's nice anodized black. The company that does them is called um, AT Power Throttles in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, when we redid that, like we've redone all the radiator piping, so we blacked it all out to keep it because it used to be um polished mm. and they're a nightmare to polish you spill a bit of coolant on them like one of the hoses isn't tight enough bit of coolant gets out it just stains it it's crap mm -hmm. so just got them jason low at low uh fab did the powder coating yeah. um just all in satin black um obviously world speed did all the fabrication on it um yeah so that's what we're talking about like that there so it's mm -hmm. two piece, so, well, I guess you could say three piece because you've got the flange for the mm -hmm. throttle. Um, so that section is, is one piece, and then it welds to this section, which is another single piece. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, because we went polished, we took out all the machining marks. But, um, I mean, you can buy them raw, like with the machine, the like tooling marks on them, mm -hmm. but you can't put that in here, like, <laughs> no, <I mean. laughs> you know, everything's polished now, so it's that's it, you got to keep up with the... You gotta keep up with the theme. Beautiful man. Which is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at this interior. That's uh, not too bad actually, pretty Why clean. Not? Yeah. What are these seats? They're uh SR three Recaros out of a some type of Honda, Honda type R, maybe Honda Integra type R. Yeah. They were red, red cloth when I got them. Um, Darren, um, Darren from Advance Interiors did the interior. Um, so he did the whole thing, did all the dash, um, like the pad and that, and um, yeah. No, I love it, absolutely, and I love the roll cage is sort of tied into the stitching. Yeah, yeah, the cage. When we chose, when I chose the cage color, that was a bit of a. <laughs> uh, I told I told the painter, uh, told Bassett too, so I said. I want a candy red cage. Like, it has to be that brandy wine color. And mm -hmm. he's like, nah, man, don't do it. Like, do, do like, he's like, do like silver, like the body color or whatever. And I was like, man, just, just do it. <laughs> and uh, then when we did it, yeah, it was like, it turned out good. But it was, you know, it's always one of those gamble things you go. If you painted it and it looked crap, it's going to stick out. So, yeah, nah, it looks perfect, man. Tell me about these, like, your clutch pedal and that. Were they, yeah, so it's they a, it that's there? a Willwood pedal box. So unfortunately, it's all got the trim panels under there, but um, it's a reverse um, reverse mount master cylinders. So it's a, it's got individual master cylinders for front and rear brake and clutch, mm -hmm. um, and they fa they basically face backwards towards the driver up there. So they're inside the cabin. So that way, that's how you get the firewall, so you can have it all smooth. What are these brakes, man? Uh, they are a hopper stoppers kit. So you know the. At Hopper's Crossing in Victoria, there's a place called Hopper Stoppers. They do all kits. They do them for Gemini's, I think, too. Yeah, big, Commodore's. Big brakes kit. Big yeah. brake kits. So it's a 290mm disc with, I think it's a Commodore caliper. Yeah. Just a PBR caliper. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Love that. What made you... Um, choose a Corolla? At the time, I think I was about, just out of high school, I think I was 18, um, and I just loved, I, you know, I loved the Mazdas really, um, back from like Fast Fours and Rotaries, um, and seeing all the Mazda R100s, I, like if I could afford one of those back then, back then they were quite cheap compared to now, and, uh, but I still couldn't afford it back then, even as cheap as they were. Um, so I was looking around for something rear wheel drive um, that I could do an engine conversion on. 
and you know do something similar to like the pack cars and that like that type of turbo and that with you know all the bits bit of drag racing bit of street um and the corolla came up uh, bloke was selling it um in Parramatta, and uh yeah at completely factory i bought it for 1600 bucks um with 12 months rego uh the brakes didn't work you know fine details um yeah so that's it so pick that up um i mean yeah, Rita hated cruising in it because it looked like looked like this one sort of. Probably, yeah. probably a little bit neater than this. It was a different colour uh, and complete. And uh, but she hated. I loved cruising in it. I just wanted to take it to Brighton every day, yeah. every night. Yeah. And she's like, "No, nah, we're not taking that car. We're not taking it." So who's got the quickest time at the moment in the Corolla? I'd love to say me, <laughs> but I'm not far off. Yeah. <laughs> um, you did a 12.0. 12 yeah. 12-0, I'm 12.5, so not, not yeah. far. Yeah, which is, which is like, you see people racing, like, it's good going, old school five-speed clutch, it's a little motor with a big turbo, so you're really working with, like, mm. a small little range of power. Mm. It's some good, good wheel work, Do you, and you've been sort of really practising your drag racing, would you say? Not so much practising, like, I, I drive it every now and then, um, but... Yeah, it's it's hard to drive. I have to say, the car's pretty hard to drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's all that shift practice in the pits. Fully yeah, well, which I do do. I do. I, do. I've, I've seen you off to the side, like just visualising the win. I'm going to cut to that scene from thing. Visualise the win, Jesse. But visualise the win. I could see you there going, what? and like you do. You look in, like yeah, you really. So would you say you're a very competitive person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't yeah. even start to cover it. Yeah, just cut to dictionary definition. Photo of Rita in their competitive. <laughs> See, yeah. Only with a couple of things. And I was I was not shy in cheering you on to beat Mark's time. That was I was really egging you on to win that. I would have been just as happy. Yeah, that's right. You beat me. Sick. I would have yeah. been like, oh, I'm mad. The car does 11s. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take us back to the beginning. Tell us about your first car. Yeah, the, the first car, Daihatsu Charade, 1991, with the little 1.3 litre four-cylinder. Um, yeah, just, you know, bought it, you know, standard car, cost me two grand. Um, got the money together, little money off my parents as well to, <laughs> to get it, um, and just, just needed a car. Like, that was all that mattered. Got your peas, have to get a car. So, fell in love with the little hatchbacks, you know, like, put a sub, subs in it and stuff, a little stereo, and they, they go all right for what they are. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've been through a few of those. Um, that car, that charade just had chopped springs, like it was just, it was like just a defect target. Like mm. every weekend we used to go out and, and drive to wherever, Norton Street or the city or the rocks, and man, it'd just, just get pulled over everywhere. Like So it was a bit... It was a bit much. Um, yeah. I've been through a couple of Corollas, at, sorry, a couple of uh, other Toyotas, like Starlets and stuff. Um, I just I always keep a reliable daily, you know, like just a little crap box to drive around in so that I can spend the money on the toys instead. Just yeah. anything that doesn't use fuel and will get me to work, then that's it. That's what, that's what my daily is. Let's go right back to the start. Tell us about your first car. I think it was a, was it a Toyota. Yeah, it was a seat car. Corolla seat car. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, yeah. yeah. She hated Didn't it. Like it. I hated it. 4 mate. What yeah. was it? It was, uh, a it, was it was the it was the carby one. It was the crappy one. It was and horrible. It was he too, pretty like. much made me buy it. He's like, oh, it's really cool. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, all right. No, it was I hate a it. Car. It yeah. was not. It was <laughs> horrible. Yeah. It was horrible, yeah. So that was the first car. <laughs> <laughs> Still traumatised by it. Still in the toilet. Yeah. So give us a couple of, have you had any like highlight cars along the way or are you like Mark, you're a bit of just daily sort of cars? Um, so I, from, from that car I went on to a Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, but yeah, it was a good car. Yeah. Um, and then he surprised me with a Volkswagen three, four years ago. So yeah, so I'm a little bit fancy these That's days. That's a beautiful car. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, a bit yeah. fancy. Um, at the moment I don't know if I could go back to just a Crappy daily. Well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, so that's where we are now. We've got a, we got a little visitor. Mate, little visitors come. <laughs> Have you got a car? You want to tell us about your car? You <laughs> <laughs> so that's Coco, the neighbours talk. That's bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you suit me. A little bit of budget, what are we changing on the Corolla? Oof. Um, the Corolla. 
cheese. I don't know if I'd change the colour, because um, I quite like the colour, the combo on it, I really like the colour combo. Um, but it'd just be all in the details. So it'd just be, you know, uh, like we spoke about Summonats cars, top 60, um, that style, I'm not saying it will be top 60, just that style of car, um, completely detailed, you know, perfect gaps, um, you know, even more detailed engine bay, just custom everything, you know, just um, really go all out. Um, so yeah, it would just be in the details, you know, maybe different wheels, um, you know, tub the front end and the back so you can fit big, nice big wheels in it. Um, yeah, so just pretty much everything. Just take the whole car apart, start again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, beautiful. So you've got, you've, got your, you've got your roller at that top 60 level, full detailed. We've extended the garage out and you've got plenty of car spaces. What are you parking in this garage on the unlimited budget? Yeah. Uh, Aussie, uh, like, I think I, like, I love the Aussie muscle cars, but um, like old Holdens and stuff like that. My, a friend of mine's got a HR uh, Holden 1967, and they are just what the body shape on those is just amazing. Um, but in saying that, I don't necessarily like the styling or the way that people modify. I like his one, um, but the way that most people modify old Holdens and old Fords, I fit like I prefer. I would, wouldn't mind seeing them in a different direction, uh, going like more low rider, like using them like because they're quite long cars. Um, they're like miniature versions of like uh, Chevys and stuff, you know? So I feel like they could look really good like on the ground, big wheels, um, or low rider, wire spokes, um, yeah. something like that, chop roof. Um, yeah, so something like that. Um, maybe you have a supercar in there or something, you know? You never know, something like that. Just yeah. something that's got aircon and heating, but yeah. it's still, you know, really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd probably buy a whole bunch of unreliable cars, you know. Just, <laughs> just everything. Yeah, if, it's, of if it's got problems, give it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe another Crescita as well. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two J this time, but. Yes. <laughs> Unlimited budget, what does the Corolla look like? Um, better than Mark is one, 100%. That's, oh. That is the end goal. Oh, I love is, that. Is to beat him. Then mm -hmm. start working. Mm -hmm. uh, full custom dash. Um, Tunnel, you know, like the full on tunnel, um, sick interior, better paint job What's than his. Sick interior, what does that mean? Yeah, give us, tell us about this sick interior. <laughs> Wait, we're talking fully sick or just sick? Fully sick. Fully oh, I am Lebanese, yeah. Yeah. so it's, it's got to be fully sick. Um, all right, so we've, we've extended out your garage. We'll, we'll, we'll petition off maybe like a four by four square for Mark's Corolla. What are you <laughs> going to put in the garage? Um, I'd love an Impala. Uh, we see them on the road, not very often, but when we do, there's just something about them there. They capture my attention. But also an R100. <laughs> now you're talking unlimited um, attention. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're pretty special. Mm. So, mm -hmm. probably one of those as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, and you, you ride, so you're, would you buy Mark a bike, you know? Would you let him have a Ducati? Would, what would you get yourself as well? I play his cards right. <laughs> I might buy one. Um, yeah, so we do love riding bikes as well. I got my licence a couple of years back, mm. so... Yeah, we had a bike in there, why not? Yeah, yeah. sick. So that's it for, for Mark and Rita and their beautiful pair of Corollas. Mark, thanks for your time, man. <laughs> thanks, Pete. Rita, thanks for your time. Thank you. Legend. You look good. You look good. She's all dressed up, he, got the like leather he, on. He just moved out of the way. He just moved out the way of the Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> You're just blocking the view of my Corolla. He just moved back. <laughs>